Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you about compound interest, which is how to find matured value, which is the amount received after n years. So first of all, we need to memorize and understand this formula. So mv is equal to p bracket 1 plus r over n, the whole thing to the power of nt. So mv stands for matured value, which is the compound interest plus with the principal. And then p is the principal, which is the money that we put in at first. And r is the yearly interest. And n is the number of times the interest is compounded per year. And t is the time in years. Let's look at question number one. Zura invested 4,000 ringgit in the bank at the rate of 3.5% of compound interest annually. Find the amount received after 4 years. So for this, okay, P is the principal, which is the 4,000, and then 3.5, which is the interest, so it's 0 0.035. So how do we calculate this? Uh? We use 3.5 divided by 100. If you're not sure, take out your calculator. So 3.5 divided by 100, and then we'll get... 0.035 okay and then compound interest annually okay which means that the n is equal to 1 okay find the amount received after 4 years which means that the t is equal to 4 okay so we take out the information p r n t so p is the principal 4000 and then r is the interest rate 0.035 Okay, n is equal to 1 because it's annually and then t is 4 because after 4 years so we're going to use the formula mv equals to p bracket 1 plus r over n whole thing to the power of n t so we're going to sub in all the information given so p is 4000 and then 1 plus so r is 0 0.035 then over n is 1 and then to the power of nt, so n is 1 and t is 4. Okay, let's take out a calculator and calculate. So calculate the bracket first, okay? So 1 plus 0 0.035 and then equals and then to the power of 4 and then equals and then multiply with 4000. So equals. So 4590.09. Okay, 4590.09. So before 4590.09 and the unit is RM. That's the answer. Let's look at question number two. Lim invested 5,000 ringgit in a fixed deposit in a bank at a rate of 5% of compound interest annually. Find the amount after three years. So here the principal is 5,000. The rate is 0 0.05, so this is the R. And then annually means that the N is equal to 1. Okay, and then after 3 years means that the T is 3. So I'm going to extract out the information P, R, N, and T. So P is principal, 5,000. And then R is the interest rate, 0 0.05. Then N is 1 because it's annually. And then T is 3 because after 3 years. Okay, so now we're going to put them into this formula. So MV is equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N whole thing to the power of NT. So equals to, so P is 5000 and then 1 plus 0 0.05 over 1 and then 1 times 3. Okay, let's take out the calculator. So we're going to find the answer, okay, for the bracket first. So this is 0 0.05, then plus 1. The answer, after that, we power 3, okay? So then we times with 5,000. So we get 5788.13, okay? 5788.13, and the unit is in RM. And this is the amount that Lim will get after 3 years. Now, let's try to do question 3. Calculate the matured value of 6,000 ringgit savings for 4 years with the interest rate of 3% per annum compounded annually. So, our P is 6,000. Then, for 4 years, which means that T is 4. And the interest rate is 0 0.03. 
and then per annum compounded annually, which means that n is equals to 1. So I'm going to take out the information P, R, N, and T. Okay, so P is the principal, 6,000. And then R is the interest rate, 0 0.03. And then N is annually, which is 1. And then T is 4 years. Okay, so in order to find the matured value, we use the formula MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N to the power of N T. Okay, so P is 6,000 then bracket 1 plus 0 0.03 over, so n is 1, then to the power of 1, 4. Okay, so equals, so we take out a calculator and calculate. Okay, the bracket, uh, 1 plus 0 0.03 is 1.03, and then to the power of 4, then equals, and then we multiply with 6,000. So equals to 6753.05, okay? So 6753.05 and the unit is in RM and this is the matured value. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to my next video which is how to find matured value which is the amount received after N years compounded monthly, quarterly and half yearly. So if you think this video is useful, I would appreciate a like from you because it means so much to me. Till then, happy learning!